By now, kids are well into the school year, getting report cards very soon, but how how, how was their report card? How was the report card for their parents? According to one study, mothers have a harder job today than maybe 20 or even 30 years ago. So how can we fix the problem? Joining me this morning, Dr. Eric Fisher, who wrote the book, The Art of Empowered Parenting. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Why is it a harder job these days? Well, there's so many more demands on parents these days between issues with dealing with issues on the internet and we have a lot more things and activities that kids are doing. We're getting them involved in sports as well as keeping up with school and their education. There's so many demands in the family these days. It's a tough job. Uh -huh. So how do you get a handle on everything? Well, it's about managing uh, managing your time, managing your children's emotion, and managing your emotion in the process. And that's where we developed the Art of Empowered Parenting um, to help parents really look at ways to approach their child's development as well as really ways to approach their own parental development. Because the key to being a good parent is really looking back at yourself and reflecting on your own strengths and weaknesses. So what do you suggest for people? What we suggest for people is to look at the way that they approach power. That often parents want to be the boss, they want to be kind of in control of situations, and they want to tell their kids what to do. Whereas if you teach your children how to make better decisions overall, then they'll be a lot better off in the long run and you make your job a lot easier. You say threats, yelling, short solutions. Right, yeah. Threats and yelling are basically, they are create long-term problems. They don't fix the issues that are rising up. Uh, and because it's just about trying to stop the rebellion at the time rather than looking at ways to help them problem solve. Okay, and you also had, uh, as a bullet point, maybe check your own feelings when disciplining your children. Right. The issue with that is to make sure that you're looking at yourself because often parents react to their own feelings and emotions that they react into things more than their kids are really acting, reacting. If they look at themselves and feel inside themselves, then they'll often respond in a much more measured manner that's going to have more meaning to their children and themselves. Okay. You have a book signing tonight, right? I do, absolutely, at the Longs Barnes & Noble and on Sunday at Easton Barnes & Noble. So uh, I'm a Ohio State alumni. I'm back, uh, back to do a book signing at homecoming. Couldn't a dream come true. Couldn't resist it. Maybe yeah. catch the game as well. Exactly. All right, today, 6.30 to 8 o'clock at the Barnes & Noble at Longs Bookstore. And then over the weekend, um, at Easton. Exactly. Alrighty. Thanks. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Good, Appreciate helpful it. tips.